bigger amount. If I set this to blue, moving this up will make the image more blue. Moving it down will make it more yellow, because yellow is the opposite of blue. And so if I need to fine tune an image, maybe I need to put a little bit more yellow in this area and not as much yellow in, in other areas that are brighter, I could go over here to the tone curve. Yellow is not listed in this menu, but if in my head I can remember RGB and CMY, those are the order that the modes are used in, I just think of cyan, magenta, yellow. Uh, it would be the opposite of this one. Grab that little um, donut. I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to pull this down, saying less blue, therefore more yellow. Not darker areas. Then up here, I might say, no, let's make this more blue, meaning less of that yellowish feel. Like that. I'm going to turn the checkbox off here. Can you see the dark part of the picture there in the lower right becoming more yellowish? This part might have become a little too yellow, so I can just continue moving that up a little bit and get that fine tuned. So I could go in and say, take the darkish areas uh, and make them less yellow by working on the dark range like that and, uh, and adjust them. But you have to really get comfortable with how to think about uh, curves. <laughs> Karen complained to our web host that our website was down. Good that she complained. We've been having problems lately, but that'll probably make them uh, put us on like a real dedicated server or something. Because they, you know. um, so anyway, that is the tone curve. Uh, it takes a little practice. Uh, not for everyone. Not for the casual, you know, I'm a visual person. I want to do photography and move a couple little sliders. It's more for the technical person that wants to get in the, the heart of how to adjust images. Questions about it? Absolutely. That's from Marion from Bucharest, Romania. You kind of slightly just answered it a bit, but so do you feel like you have as much um, the same level of control in Lightroom 4 as you do with Photoshop? With no. Curves? Uh, if I'm in Photoshop, uh, I have more control than I do here. Um, in Photoshop, I have adjustment layers, and I can set what's known as the blending mode. It's the thing at the top of the layers panel where you can set it to color or luminosity or something else to limit how it affects the image. I can also paint on a mask to say only affect this area instead of that area. Uh, and I can stack more than one of these on top of it, each other to control various areas of the image. I find I have a lot more control. But if I have an image that just needs a little tweak, um, then this is fine to come in and say, hey, I just want to make that area have a little less uh, yellow in it, or a little more uh, blue kind of thing. Yeah. Question from Halmar, what's the light gray histogram in the tone curve and, it, and what is it used for? Is it used for anything? Um, in, oh, the, in here, it simply tells you what you have in your picture. So let me set this back to RGB and you'll see a light gray. <coughs> Did she say a light gray histogram? Yeah, this histogram. So this area across here represents the brightness range you can have. Imagine there was a gradient across here. I always wish they'd put it in. Kind of like when I described the uh, histogram as a whole. I want there to be a gradient with black on the left, white on the right. It makes it much easier to understand. And then this would simply tell you what is in your picture. Do you have those shades or not? So if I were to adjust my picture, and I'm going to take blacks and make it so, maybe that and this. Ooh, it's really sticking. Why is you surprised blacks are sticking on the end? Meaning I can't make things uh, something other than black. Let me do the opposite with white. Do you see in the histogram where I'm getting a big gap on the right? Nothing in the image is white right there. Well, if I go over to the tone curve, you'll now see the same gap. So it just tells you, do you have black in your image? If the histogram extends all the way to the left, yeah, you do. Do you have white in your image? If it extends all the way over there, yep, you do. And um, so it is, in general, a reflection of this histogram. Changes you make here will appear here. It's taller, and that doesn't matter, because it's just whatever line goes all the way to the top, there's always one, uh, just means this takes up the most space. You could make that histogram a mile long, and it would just become a really tall histogram, because always the line that goes to the top is whatever takes up the most space. They just happen to give it more vertical space here than they did there. So, um, so if you didn't have this histogram going,